friends welcome to biology made easy today we are going to discuss about enzymes in the uh, under the caption biomolecules so what are the enzymes we'll discuss but before that you know that inside a cell there are thousands of biomolecules and these biomolecules are always in a metabolic flux Now, what is the meaning of metabolic flux? That means always uh, they are uh, converted, interconverted into one another. And when different types of reactions are taking place inside the cell, always you know from physics and chemistry that uh, the reactions tend to be in a state of equilibrium. Because that is the main characteristic of the chemical reaction. They will always tend to be in equilibrium. But again, you know from physics, that when a reaction is in the state of equilibrium it cannot perform any function so when thousands of biomolecules are there and they will be functionless because they will be state of equilibrium then how a cell will be living there is a question there is a question mark that means the different biomolecules which are in the cell they will be never in state of equilibrium. Then only the cell will be functional. The cell will be living. That means all the biomolecules are always in a non-equilibrium state. And again, they are always in a steady state. That means the different biomolecules which are present inside the cell, they are in a non-equilibrium steady state. And that is why uh, we are living, all the cells are living. So how these different types of biomolecules function? They function like a congested traffic in a city. You might have marked that in uh, big uh, squares, some traffic policy there and uh, according to his order from different side the vehicles come and go and without any accident. In the same manner, the different biomolecules which are present in the cell they are controlled in different ways, which is known as metabolic pathway. In the metabolic pathway, one reaction is converted to another, then that will be another in the series without any disturbance. In the same manner, like the, uh, the traffic of a congested uh, square. So, who is the traffic police here? Who controls, who regulates all these things? That is a protein. And that protein is enzyme. That means see, in, in the cell there are some enzymes which control the different biochemical reactions in which direction will move and in a regulated manner. That is the function of the enzymes. And previously you know that there is no life without water. But now I am telling there is no life without enzymes. And this is not my statement. This is a statement of great physiologist Leninger. There is no life without enzymes. That is the important function. They function just like a middleman. They convert one substance to another. So this is the importance of enzymes for a living organism. Without them, there is no life. So, we will discuss briefly what is the historical background and then we will go to the different aspects. N, N, Jaim. N, N means in, Jaim means east. So, the name enzyme was first given by Kunne. He named it as enzyme. But in East, then another scientist, Edward Buckner, he isolated Jaime enzyme from East cells. Because accordingly the name was given by Kunne. Then Sumner, another scientist, he told that all enzymes are proteins. That means the proteinaceous nature. Proteinaceous nature 
of enzymes and again this same sumner uh, crystallized or in crystalline form obtained urease enzyme from jack bean and the enzymes how they regulate the a particular metabolic reaction and how one enzyme is synthesized one gene one gene gives rise to one enzyme and the single enzyme catalyzes a particular metabolic reaction this is the ultimate thing that means the enzyme which control the metabolic reaction is synthesized by a single gene and this statement was given by Biddle and Tatum Biddle and Tatum when they were working on Neurospora genetics Neurospora is one fungus Neurospora genetics and for this work one gene, one enzyme, one metabolic reaction they were awarded Nobel Prize that means each enzyme is synthesized by the direction of a single gene and that controls a particular reaction. Now some other aspects of the enzymes. Inside the cell around 300 enzymes are there. Inside the cell around 3000 enzymes are present. And when they are present inside the cell, we can call them as endoenzymes. But when they function outside the cell, we can call them as exoenzymes. The smallest enzyme is peroxidase. And the largest enzyme is catalase and both the smallest and largest enzyme peroxidase catalase they are present in only one organelle that is both of them are present in one organelle that is peroxisome another point all enzymes are proteins but all proteins are not enzymes. This is a very important statement. All enzymes are proteins with only few exceptions. And exceptions are usually not taken into account because there are some ribozymes. All enzymes are proteins, but the reverse is not true. All proteins are not enzymes because that in tubulin mouse and there are proteins, but not enzymes. The Enzymes are synthesized in ribosomes because uh, enzymes are synthesized because uh, enzymes are proteins and proteins are synthesized by ribosomes. Then another interesting thing. Suppose one will ask you what type of bonds are present in enzymes. You know uh, that enzymes are proteins. So they are synthesized by means of peptide bonds. So these are the some of the aspects of the historical background of enzymes, how they, uh, what are the characteristics of the some enzymes. So this is only the introduction of enzymes. In the coming videos, we'll discuss their chemistry, their classification, their mode of action, the enzyme inhibition, one after another. So thank you very much for watching it. I'm not giving any question here because this is only introduction. And again, we'll meet in the next one that is chemistry of enzymes. So thank you very much.